Hello, my soccer universe. Well, it's time for the weekly round of all the action that happened uh, over the weekend. I actually also managed to watch West Ham against Arsenal, so um, I can really go through all of it. I'm shooting this Tuesday morning. I know it will not post until uh, Wednesday. Again, I'm gonna go through the results, highlight the games that I saw, or at least saw highlights. We also get a little match shot. Um, I'm planning to do after the Classico next week probably a little bit of a deep dive into the leagues because you know now it's a little bit too hectic with all the Champions League action and so on going on. Well let's start as we always do in La Liga um, where on Friday Villarreal played a goal destroy against Atletico Madrid then Real Madrid had no real trouble beating Espanyol 2-0 the most remarkable thing of that one was that um, Real Madrid played at home in the mint green third jerseys don't know why that uh, needed to <laughs> be, be, be done, but it was a really uh, easy win for Real Madrid. Granada 3-0 over Alaves. Um, Levante had a 2-0 lead over Valencia uh, within 20 minutes uh, through Marti, but Marti was also both goals through Marti, but he also scored a third goal in the first half, which was an own goal on, the, the, on his own end. And then it fell all apart within two minutes when Gamero twice uh, netted for Valencia, who were not really on the pitch at that moment. Uh, when Torres aided at fourth, uh, it was a little bit too late, but it must be a gutting derby loss for Levante. Um, Barcelona, yep, 5-2 <laughs> over Mallorca. Uh, it was a goal uh, fest, and it was as one of those goals of the season. Uh, whatever Suarez did for his fourth, fourth for the fourth goal for Barcelona, uh, you gotta see to believe it. Uh, that back heel um, defies comparison. Uh, one of the three super goals uh, this weekend. Uh, as you saw in the headline, my we had a few really great games. Uh, we had a few really great goals, and we had a few really great saves. It was that amazing of a weekend. Um, Messi, of course, uh, scores three, but the um, first goal went to Griezmann, uh, who ran alone to goal. I mean, all the Messi goals were, again, typically Messi goals. What can I say more? Yes, I can say one thing more. Uh, the two goals by Mallorca, Budimir, he played, I think he was in the last squad uh, at one point, and I think he played in the 100-year game against Real Madrid, but not more. Uh, Sunday, a bar Getafe 0-1, uh, Real Betis Athletic Club was a great game, although Real Betis had a 3-0 lead uh, all through Joaquin, uh, and 3-2, Real Madrid, Real Sociedad, I you know, I actually watched that at that moment. I was really mad at, at myself because every time I watched La Sociedad, they are not showing up, and especially they're playing in those green jerseys that are uh, like boring game. Leganes Celta 3 2, and also Suna Sevilla was actually quite an exciting game. Um, with Sevilla taking um, er, an early er, er lead, I think there was a lengthy break um, because. Uh, um, also, sooner player got knocked out when they were all going for a ball. And uh, the player that replaced him made the uh, equalizer for also sooner. Sevilla then had a few more chances, but it was quite an open game, quite interesting. Um, quickly, table Barcelona Real Madrid still ahead, three points with a game in hand against each other. Then Sevilla is now uh, best of the rest, if you will. Russell's that get up for 27, Athletic Club 26, and you know, Atletico Madrid is keeping falling because they're not getting wins. If you only get draws, you're not going anywhere. So you're also stuck on 26, as is Valencia. Granada now, uh, nine of the Sunat, uh, Real Betis in the midfield. Yeah, uh, if, then we have Levante, Via Real Valladolid, Alaves, Eibar, Mallorca, Celta. You can read it. Like I said, Espanol really now in last place. That's a little bit gutting. Uh, Premier League, this time I could watch highlights. Uh, Everton beat uh, Chelsea 3 1. Uh, kind of un unexpected that one. I have to say, uh, Chelsea got surprised by a team with a new manager. Um, also, uh, the, but the goal back through Kovacic, that was again the one. I think he had one like that against Valencia. I mean, precision pure. Liverpool and 3 0 win over Bournemouth. I mean, they were really toying. It could have been more if they won it. Uh, Oxlade Chamberlain gets finally a goal again. Then another one, Tottenham Burnley, great game, 
outstanding Hyunmin song. If you see his goal, uh, he started his own box. It reminded me of Wea, although uh, where he just ran straight through. I mean, there are defenders around, and is, through his athletic abilities, he just gets past it. Could there be a better defending? Yes, but still, uh, going box to box and scoring is an amazing feat. The weird thing is, I'm not sure. I think this is only the second best goal of the weekend. I mean, Suarez clearly beats it one. We have one contender in there that is really uh, could also be there just for sheer technical ability. Watford, Crystal Palace, uh, and goalless, and then the big stunner United dominating City away from home, uh, having uh, within 10 minutes, I think in the t uh, between the 20th and 29th, uh, 2 0 lead Rashford on a penalty that was. Um, uh, just when the VAR needs need, need, need to have been in the 23rd, Martial in the 29th makes it 2 0. Uh, and it was very well deserved. I mean, uh, City didn't even have a chance. They, uh, United was defensively super sound. Uh, and I thought for at least 75 minutes, United was cruising. Only when Otamendi uh, put one back. Well, at least he can score. I mean, he cannot defend, but he can at least score. I thought that there might be some uh, thing coming, but United hangs on to a well-deserved uh, win. Uh, this will probably calm a little bit the nerves around Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. On the other side, you know, let's see how this will develop. Uh, but, you know, beating Guardiola uh, and really resoundingly, Either speaks to how bad City are defensively at the moment, or uh, maybe Solskjaer really did something great. Something great was done by Leicester City. I mean, the first goal by Vardy is a funny one because he, I think, rounded the keeper, then he misses the shot, but he still has time enough to get up on his feet again and walk into the net with it uh, to make it 1 0. And um, it's 2 0 um, shortly thereafter through uh, Ihenacho. Not 20th and 41st. So short, short, short. Yeah, after Grealish pulls one back, which uh, after a corner kick and where it last I couldn't clear. So then I thought I I watched this game. I actually didn't watch it initially because I don't like Leicester in the black jerseys. On honestly against Aston Villa, I think they could play in blue. Honestly, it would look better. Uh, but very quickly after the break, Evans makes it 3-1 um, and Vardy adds another one to give Leicester a 4-1 win. And they seem to be now the clearly second best team in England. Uh, Norwich um, loses after being 1-0 up against Sheffield United. A duel between promoted teams and Brighton and Wolves uh, again play a 2-2 draw where Wolves took the lead and Brighton turned around Wolves a quick cost of a half. West Ham against Arsenal, I actually saw it, and I really, for once, I really want West Ham to win this one. Uh, Ogbonna gives them the lead, but then in 10 minutes, Arsenal turns it around. Um, beautiful, beautiful uh, goal for the second goal by um, Nicolas Pepe, Aubameyang adds a third. Within 10 minutes, Arsenal had turned the game around, where I have to say, West Ham had a chance to make it 2-0 and it would not have been undeserved. So table, Liverpool far ahead. I think Liverpool enjoys the biggest league, a lead of any team uh, this year. Uh, Liverpool 14 points ahead. Leicester City is 8 behind, uh, but 14 points ahead of, of City. Uh, Chelsea is in 4th. United now goes into 5th place ahead of Wolves. Tottenham uh, makes a jump, uh, as does Arsenal. Um, Newcastle stays put. Everton also gets a little bit out of trouble with that win over Chelsea. Um, but therefore we have, yeah, Everton is still not quite safe, I would say. Bournemouth, West Ham, Aston Villa, Southampton, uh, kind of teetering relegation, Norwich and Watford, as I said uh, last week, seem like foregone conclusions. Germany. Uh, for once, I didn't see too much of Germany, but I saw highlights of a tad of. I mean, I saw a little bit of Frankfurt Hertha, where Hertha actually had a 2 0 lead, and then uh, Frankfurt very quickly got a goal and uh, managed an equalizer. Gladbach against Bayern was the game of the weekend, and the last time that Gladbach is a first place team, uh, welcomed Bayern to their own stadium, was in 1976. <laughs> Uh, that tells you how long it has been. They became champions back then. But um, the game was all Bayern. It was similar to the one Leverkusen, uh, Lever uh, the Leverkusen game 
last weekend where uh, Bayern after a short period started dominate and create chances and the biggest one was clearly when a shot went through Jan Sommer and he turns it around and on the goal and with his finger uh, manages to pull off it meant it was that much not on the goal like this was probably the save of the weekend uh, Bayern should have led by two goals at the half they get the goal through Perisic I thought game over no they forget about for Ben Zibaini. Uh, to cover him, he makes it 1-1 one, one. and then the game was kind of even and you didn't know where it's going and then uh, Javier Martinez fails um, to run in the box late in the game when the manager steps up and gives Gladbach a lucky 2-1 win but Gladbach, credit to them, you beat Bayern and Bayern, to me still, Bayern seems to be the strongest team in Germany I mean, they were the better team against Leipzig, they were uh, better surely against Leverkusen, they were better surely against uh, Gladbach, they dominated Dortmund, uh, but they didn't get all the results, but I, as you will see, even though they are now uh, behind, I don't count them out. Freiburg gets a late win again, uh, a win against Wolfsburg, Augsburg minus 2-1, uh, there was probably the miss of the weekend, where I think three... Augsburg players clear clear goal they give it to someone who just needs to pull it in and puts it wide uh, really the miss of the weekend 2-1 uh, Leipzig gets a 3-1 win over Hoffenheim it was quickly 3-0 um, I think twice Timo Werner who actually got injured in the warm-up and then uh, Savica Dortmund in their anniversary jersey in all black 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 even with uh, ghosted uh, logos and sponsor Coal and steel, it's called. Not so sold on that one. George German was about a similar look at the Euros. Uh, away look, 5 0, very easy over Dusseldorf and Leverkusen wins 2 1 over Schalke. Union beats Köln 2 0, and Paderborn wins in Bremen. That's remarkable, as we will see. Because now uh, we have Gladbach and Leipzig top of the table. Uh, Dortmund. See, they're back in uh, in Germany. You cannot write anyone off. Uh, two weeks ago, we thought Dor Dortmund is in no man's land. Now they're right back into it. Uh, they're only five points behind Schalke. Um, six points, then Freiburg, Leverkusen, Dortmund, um, Bayern. Those are the top seven. I think f uh, these are the teams that uh, realistically will play for the Champions League spots next season. Hoffenheim uh, is 21, Wolfsburg, uh, Union, Frankfurt, Augsburg. That's kind of the midfield. And then uh, arguably Mainz, Bremen, Hertha, Düsseldorf, Pader, uh, Paderborn and Köln are for the relegation where, you know, uh, Hertha is now out of the relegation zone, Düsseldorf is in. Paderborn is not the last place team anymore. Serie A, here I saw a lot more. I watched the Inter-Roma game, which was one of the weirdest games I've ever seen, because Roma had all the possession and Inter had all the chances. Uh, there was a period in the first half where Roma, I think, for three minutes had held the ball and couldn't get anything going. Uh, chances for Inter were, they were really big chances. I mean, Inter, if they are uh, clinical, they could have beaten Roma. On the other side, it was not a good performance by them. And I thought that Roma was overall the better team. Just they didn't create chances. It was really crazy. I love the jerseys, though. Atalanta beats Hellas, uh, being twice down, turning it around. New stadium also st starting to take shape. Um, quite interesting what's happening in Bergamo. Napoli, again, I mean, at least they get the equalizer, but uh, what's that? Then, game of the weekend, Lazio-Juventus. Uh, that was a really exciting game, especially since Juventus played really, really well in the first half and took a deserved lead through Ronaldo. Uh, they had more chances. Uh, I think they even hit the bar or something like that, but just before the half, just before the half, Lazio gets the equalizer uh, from uh, Luis Alberto, um, cross and Luis Felipe uh, heads it in. Lazio got a little bit more uh, grip on the game, like in the last 10, 10 minutes, but I have to say Juventus up until that point was the better team. Then again, uh, it was a very open uh, game in the second half, uh, going back and forth, uh, but it, it seemed to be headed to, to a draw for me. Uh, but then uh, suddenly the, um, a nice through, through ball where uh, Cuadrado takes out the opponent and after VAR gets sent off with a red card. Um, I think it was an alright decision. Shortly thereafter, from another Luis Alberto pass, he is amazing. 
I have to say. Milinkovic Savic uh, controls the ball with his right and then puts in the net with his left. Absolute amazing goal. Uh, makes it 2 1. Then shortly thereafter, um, Correa is uh, felt by Chesney in the box, although I had the feeling he could have walked around. Maybe not. Um, I mean, you see the re replay. Uh, Chesney is really going in. Immobile steps up to make it 3 1. Nope. Jesny uh, denies him twice. First he saved the penalty and then the rebound, which was even a better save. Um, Juventus puts everything forward, a man down. I mean, uh, Dybala had a glorious chance that could have made the game 2-1. Uh, didn't, so Egoin comes uh, on, but they cannot find it. And in the end, Caicedo makes it 3-1 for Lazio. First loss for Juventus in all competitions. Lecce Genoa 2-2, uh, Torino 2-1 over Fiorentina, it was all for, uh, to uh, Torino for most of the time. Spal Brescia ended with a 1-0 win, a goal by Balotelli for Brescia, although Spal missed the penalty. Penalty I think was also missed by Sassolo uh, against Cagliari, where Sassolo had a 2-0 halftime lead and Cagliari equalizes late. Sampdoria Parma ends with a 1-0 win for Parma, who had the better of the game as far as I could say, but then uh, again, penalty that was saved and... Uh, I think Cagliari scored from, from the rebound, but it was uh, ruled out. And Bologna Milan. Milan, actually, it was not that good of a performance, but Milan had a little bit more of the game. Uh, when they took the lead through Piontek, he already had a, such a boneheaded run. But, you know, he wanted to get. Uh, he, he, for ahead of where he got straight in the box, ran straight on goal, and he got failed. Was a penalty 1 0. Um, Hernandez then with a really nice shot makes it 2 0. Uh, but Bologna manages to pull one back, so uh, through Hernandez again, the Theo Hernandez makes an own goal. Uh, did not really calm my nerves, but then um, Bonaventura right after the half, 46 minutes, uh, 3 1. They failed to make the fourth one. Bologna pulls one back and then it was some nervy moments. But yeah, M Milan gets two wins in, in, in a row. That hasn't happened in a while. Uh, Inter leads in the table ahead of Juventus. Now two points ahead. But now Lazio claws itself back into it. We have 33, Cagliari 29 and Roma 29. Atalanta 20, 28. So maybe it's those other teams for the Champions League. Napoli, I think, is out of it. Uh, Parma, Torino, Milan 20. Ah, that looks not too bad, I have to say. Maybe there's something in there. Uh, let's wait and see. Maybe Zlatan is coming. Uh, Verona, Bologna, uh, Fiorentina. Yeah, we're going relegation zone. Sassuolo, Lecce and Udine, Sampdoria. That's really in danger, but Genoa and Brescia and Spal are currently down. I actually saw some highlights from France, but let's run through the results. Uh, Lille. 1-0 over Brest and Lyon 4-0 over Nîmes. Montpellier against PSG. That was actually a quite a tight game, but a wonderful free kick by Neymar basically sets PSG on its path. Montpellier had a 1-0 lead and should have probably made it 2-0 when if a penalty was given. Monaco 3-0 over Amiens. Nice 4-1 uh, over Metz. Rennes uh, had a relatively easy 2-1 uh, uh, win over Angers, but they were 2-0 up. Uh, Strasbourg lose 4-2. Reims at the end 3-1, not Dijon 1-0, and the big one, Marseille Bordeaux 3-1. I should have watched highlights of that one, I just see. But yeah, Marseille seems to be the second best team in France. PSG still leads the table ahead of Marseille and uh, Lille. Oh, there's enough space between those three teams, and then it gets really tight. As you can see, Rennes is now in fourth, Bordeaux uh, in fifth, and not in sixth, Lyon. Finally gets up there, Saint-Étienne, Reims, Montpellier, Monaco has a game in hand, but it's against PSG, so they will probably stay there. And as I said, the relegation zone, Dijon, Amiens, Metz, Nîmes, Toulouse, and they're all relatively tight together. Now, um, Eredivisie is the next one that, that, that will go to, because I saw on Friday, Willem Tway beats Ajax 2-0. And it wasn't even un un undeserved. Interesting jerseys also. So Ajax uh, loses and PSV wins over uh, Sittard, as does Alkmaar over Zwolle. So everything on top of the table in uh, the Netherlands gets a little bit tight. I mean, Ajax still enjoys a three-point lead and still a ten-point lead over PSV. But Alkmaar this season might be uh, good and Willem Dwey is also in there. So yeah, all kind of getting tighter together. Uh, in Austria, just two 
quick results I saw last against Wolfsburg. Three easy 3-1 three win, I have to say. Wolfsburg uh, hit the post in one action twice, but at that point Lask had already hit the post and got the lead through a goal that was admittedly offside. Then they make it 2-0 relatively easy. Uh, Wolfsburg manages to pull one back uh, late in, 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 the, in the game, but then yeah, just add a third one. 3-1 for Lusk, and they assert themselves as clearly the second best team. Salzburg win has a very easy win over Tirol. And the Derby, Austria had twice the lead. I think uh, the starting was with the, in the third, Austria took it in the fourth, uh, Rapid Eek equalized. Austria took a lead before the halftime, Rapid equalized late, and then uh, they probably could have won it, but uh, too little too late for Austria Wien. If you look at the table, Salzburg, Lask, Wolfs uh, are the, the class of the league. Wolfsburg and Rapid are now closer together than one would expect. Sturm and Hartberg will make the playoffs and Austria Wien, seven points, seems a little bit too much. And then the two Super Leagues at the end. Um, Midtjylland wins at Brøndby and Copenhagen wins as well. So Denmark stays as it is, uh, we have Midtjylland still very clear on top of the table. Uh, Copenhagen is second. Yep. Uh, Denmark seems to be decided. Everything but decided is Greece, where Power gets a 2 0 win over Xanti, and, which was kind of a trap game. And Olympiakos a 3 0 over Panay. Totally goes the last place team. Uh, they are still level. On top of the table, it's gonna be a sprint to, to the finish because those two are clearly the two best teams in Greece. Ooh, long video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative for you. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know which games you watched, whether you agree with my assessments on these games. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!